Phillips, and this is Barb. And here's what we did in the class on what day is it? Thursday. Thursday night up in lovely Manson, Washington. Uh, it was a special move by request by a special person. And uh, looks like this. Let me just demonstrate it to you first. Let's see if I go with it. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. It's okay if you mess up. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> One, a two, a rock step. A one, a two. A rock step slow. Two, three, four, five, six, and a rock step. So my hand as the leader is upside down like this. Not a big deal. We go with the very first move we learned a couple weeks ago. Right side pass under the arm. Press though the hand fixes itself. All right. So what what I want to say about okay. Let me <laughs> let me actually face you again. So when we're in the basic or in our closed position. Uh, notice our inside shoulder is closer than our outside shoulder. So if you kind of formed a line right there, and then a line out of my shoulder, it's kind of like a V shape. So, um, so that way when we're rock stepping, we're both rock stepping back. Now let me just mention the hand of the leader, the right hand, we're going to bend in the upper middle part of the palm, wrapping nicely right around her scapula. Girls are going to have a nice overlap with their arm, not over the top like this, but a nice little overlap to complete that connection. Now this connection here, same just like our gun, in open except for we're closer. The closer we get, the lower the connection goes. We don't want to have our connection up like this. So again, notice how we're rock stepping back together and not away from ourselves like this. So we're going back, one, a two, a rock step, a one, a two, a rock step. Okay, so switch her over to this side. So we, we did an outside turn, and then we, we went with the follower as opposed to staying in our place. So we went one, two, a rock step, one, two. Now we're both facing you. I'm going to scoop the hand down and through, rock step. That creates a little wind up. So that little wind up makes us want to step here next. And so once we do our little wind up on our rock step, quick, quick, we're going to count to six. We're going to count to six. <laughs> and we'll do six slows. So we'll go one, two, this is a little patty cake right here. I'm not high-fiving her. We're not a moving target. I'm just presenting my hand, hoping that she'll connect most followers well. I've never danced with a follower that didn't. So that was two, repeat, three, four. Now we could do a few more of these, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stop on the next one. Five, now she's gonna come facing me again because I'm gonna lead her that direction. I'm gonna open up my palm so she knows, oh, the move is over. What you do at the very end is rock step So. I can show you that again. One, a two, a rock step. A one, a two, wind it up. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, a rock step. One other thing I want to say is if I'm changing the rhythm, I need to show her the hand um, early. I don't want to go rock step, a one. Because what that feels like to the follower, it feels like she's supposed to do a spin or something. So I have to show her the hand early, universal stop sign. So I show her the hand early, exactly what I want. Notice on the last one, my palm's down. So she knows exactly what to do before the moment I want her to do it. Um, and let me just show it to you one more time. And I think that that is one, a two, a rock step, a one. A two, a rock step. A one, two, three, four, five, six, and a rock step. Oh, let me show you what we're going to do next week. Next week, we're going to add a tandem turn where we're both going to turn like gears towards each other, an extension of this ending. So I'll go from the part where we're winding up, rock step. We go one, two, this is next week, not this week, three, four, Five, quick, quick, catch, rock step. So if you want to learn that, you have to come to 
Manson Grange next Thursday at <laughs>